Hey guys, it's been a while. In this video I am showing you an efficient way to find encrypted values, as well as a way to backtrace with a simple script and address. Sometimes game developers will try to make your life harder by using certain encryption methods. So as you can see right now, I am trying to find the ammo value the conventional way which is not going to work. Before we attempt to find our ammo value we want to make our life as easy as possible to be the most efficient. For this reason I highly recommend going into your settings to add hotkeys as shown here. We have no intelligence on how the value behaves at this moment, so we will try to narrow down the results by using changed and unchanged scans. Just like usual, once we have found our value we will want to find what writes to it. As you can see there is some weird stuff going on with the XOR instruction. To put it simply, XOR is a powerful instruction which is very useful when it comes to cryptography, so as you can guess, in this instance, it is used to encrypt sensitive values. We know better than to let a simple instruction deter us from our goal. Here is where it gets a little bit more tricky. It seems like the instruction writing to our address also writes to a bunch of different addresses, as demonstrated here. We will have to perform a little bit of gymnastics to get around that, to find what passes the value we want before it is written. As always, there is multiple ways to solve a problem. I chose to backtrace the function by using a Lua script which is less likely to glitch your game compared to using a breakpoint and adding a condition to it. Usually you'd want to use AOB injection but from experience it won't work in this game. Therefore I will be using a simple code injection framework which is just as good. The easiest way to get the result that we want is to compare the address which holds our ammo, in this case ESI, to the ammo address that we found initially. If ESI does not equals to our address then go back to the normal instructions. Otherwise the game will run the nope instruction then jump back to the normal instructions, which is what we want to backtrace. Once our script is ready, enable it and then follow it inside of the memory viewer as demonstrated. There we go. We now have exactly what we want which is every functions and their instructions which leads to our address. Sometimes you will have to dig further back to find where the value is initially passed, you may also have to read the register to follow the address, in this case I don't have to go too far because we have a subtraction instruction which is a pretty big flag that our ammo value is being manipulated over there. We can now test the water to see if we're right about our assumption. We have successfully beat the poor initiative to attempt to stop us from achieving our goal. I am planning to publish more videos but I need your help. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see and I will give it a shot if it is reasonable. If this video helped you, a like would be much appreciated. If you're interested to learn more you should definitely subscribe for more content to come. Anyways, have a great day.